making videos for the internet is a great way to work out all of your shortcomings. You guys are super observant, so today I'm gonna to take care of the things that you've been commenting on in my videos that I need to get done. Number one, we're gonna trim up the top of that tree, which looks kind of weird. I know the way it's grown. Um, it was all kind of like that, but I was having a chat with my neighbor for a while and I just got the electronic um, pruners out while I was chatting and just did what I could reach while I was standing, uh, which left that, which many people have now commented on. So we're gonna take care of that. We're also going to get rid of the spider webs all up here. I mean, I didn't even really notice how bad that was till I was standing here with a camera, but that definitely needs to be done. I'm gonna chuck a downlight back in there. And then I'm gonna give you the update on the front and back lawns after uh, I gave them a height reset. I think it was about eight or 10 days ago. I think you're gonna be really surprised how they look right now. First things first, let's take care of that tree. First, we're gonna work out how to do it. By Mike Wilson. He's an ISA certified arborist here at Russell Tree Experts, but He's a little camera shy, and he. <laughs> What's going on? I'm watching a uh, tutorial for how to do this next to the. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that is okay, so some of that growth is actually really, really thick. For the smaller stuff, I'm going to use this Milwaukee multi tool that's got the extension, then the hedge trimmer attachment. So, yeah, for the thicker stuff, I'm going to use this steel pole saw. Chains a little loose. I don't use these things all that often. I much prefer the pruners, to be honest with you. Just a nicer cut. I find these tend to bounce off the branches a bit. Maybe that's just my inability to use it. And that's not just this brand either. Let's go. This chain must need a sharpen because that is uh, not going through all that well. Did what I needed though. So that definitely gives you quite a reach with that extension, but man, that thing's heavy. Wouldn't want to be using it for a long period of time, but for small jobs, it's fine. Get it, that's slightly more manageable. And of course, I just realized I didn't get it perfect up the top. We're gonna leave it anyway. This thing grows so quickly. In a week, it'll have all new growth sprouting out of it anyway. This is what I hate about trimming. Cleaning up. I started putting tarps out and then I'm like, nah, it'll be all right. I, I should have put tarps down. Now look, I know it shouldn't now, but like nature just constantly blows me away. This tree, it's obviously dropped some sort of seed. It's starting a whole new tree, which I'm, unfortunately we're gonna have to put an end to, but that just blows me away. Okay, now I ordered these a couple of months ago and haven't had a chance to use them. We've got some curved topiary shears. I sound like such a bogan when I'm saying that. Curved tapery shears. Um, but these are like, these are what the pros use. I have no reason to be using them. They're not cheap, but man, they're made well. Such a satisfying action, that. Now, uh, obviously the straight ones would be better for this, but I wanted the curved ones uh, for all the ball stuff I've got here. And I didn't really want to outlay the money for uh, two sets, because as I said, they're, they're very nice, but they're not cheap. And they're sticking set. Hello. Side, not bad. 
Not bad, not perfect, not bad. Do the other side now. A little bit more growth there. These are just amazing to use. I think I'm gonna get the straight ones as well. Big cost, but man, they're enjoyable to use. Okay, that turned out pretty good, if I say so myself anyway. It's not perfect. I don't claim to be a topiary expert, topiary. Man, I'm liking it. Now this is the lawn update. This is eight to 10 days later. I can't tell you exactly, because I'm not 100% sure, but it's no more than 10 days since I cut this stuff right back. Look at all that new growth. Look at all the green, it's kind of unbelievable. I've given the back its first haircut since I cut it back, because that stuff is growing like wild. Uh, this hasn't had a haircut yet, we're gonna give it one today. So yeah, if you didn't catch a couple of logs ago, I cut this stuff right back, gave it a height reset. We had some fungal issues, uh, got it sprayed for that. That seems to have gone. So now we've just got this fresh growth that we want to maintain somewhere around 15 mil. We're not getting it super low. I don't like it. I mean, it looks cool super low, but it's just a lot more work and I just haven't got the time. But 15 mil is a, a good height where it looks nice, short and manicured, uh, but it's not over the top to keep it at that length. Uh, got to do the edges first. Let's get into that. Now, I made quite a few videos on them, but the reason I'm using this roto cut here, when you're cutting a nice fine turf and you're cylinder mowing it, um, I find this is much better around the edges as it cuts, it's like a scissor action. So instead of like ripping and tearing the leaf, it, it's a nice finer cut, matching up with the, the cylinder mow of the mower. It's not a necessity, but um, good tool to have if you're doing this sort of stuff. These ones need to sharpen though. Now, if you didn't know what I was talking about before when I said a cylinder mower, this is what we're cutting with here. This is the Allet Sterling. It's actually a battery cylinder mower. It runs on the Ego batteries. It's the uh, Allet brand, but um, yeah, they've got some sort of connection there. So it's got this bottom blade here and that cylinder there rotates around, hits that bottom blade and cuts the blades like scissors, which gives it a nice fine cut. That's the sort of thing that they cut golf courses with. Not this particular machine, but that's the style of machine they use. That's what we're cutting here with. So I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but it's just a lot more even now. It's very evident the bits that haven't grown through yet, more so than before I cut it. But like I said, that's for recovery in like eight to 10 days. Give it another week or so, it should be looking great. Got a little teaser brush at the bottom too, which I think helped comb a little bit of the excess dead stuff that's still in there. Also makes the leaf stand up and uh, make it easier to cut. Okay, so tree, check. Front lawn, first cut, check. Still doesn't look amazing, I know. Uh, 
trimmed up the bushes, check. Now I need to go over the Sir Grange. Need to do the edges there. Gonna hit it with the um, roto cut again. Just gonna do it with a rotary mower. This is gone to go a little wild. I've talked about this a lot on the channel. This is quite a slow growing grass. It doesn't really need a lot I've found apart from when it's showing that it needs water, which it does today. It's got starting to get that look about it. The leaf's starting to fold in on itself. It's starting to get a little bit of that gray color about it. Needs the water right away. These edges need to tidy up for sure. Give it a little haircut and uh, it'll be looking nice. I can see the edge. There it is. Now this is annoying. Not a lot you can do about it. Cut your edges more regularly. It's actually cut quite high. Trying to give you an idea of how high the mow is sitting. It's a grass that seems to look good high or low. Do like it. Let's get this cleaned up. See how a uh, damp rag works. Oh, so many bugs. Spiders. Might use some paper towel first just to get the bulk of the cobwebs. Oh, many spiders. Ooh. So to the multiple people that pointed this out, thank you very much. Inspired me to uh, do it. Inspired me to clean it up. So uh, that's probably a positive thing. It's one of those things you don't really notice until you got it in the background on a shot looking back at you up at a camera. It feels very cathartic to get it done. Sometimes the comments can be a lot. Other times uh, quite helpful. A lot better already. I'm gonna use a brush for it, but then I feel like it just smears a lot of the bugs, which I've kind of done anyway, but going over it with the wet rag or the damp rag cleans it up pretty well. Might rinse that out. I'm surprised no one noticed the, or no one called out the missing downlight. We're gonna rectify that now though. Look at me getting things done. The other thing I'm surprised no one's noticed is the unalive uh, boxes. These need to go. Another chore done. Uh, I now need to work out a couple of new plants for there that uh, I can hopefully keep alive. I do have a couple of these. I think they'd look good sort of um, overflowing from the, the pot. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Time to go out the back. I think you're gonna be genuinely surprised by how much it's grown out there. And bear in mind, that was the first cut for the front yard since I reset the height. This will be the second cut for the back. Have a look at this. That is, uh, yeah, that's after cutting it probably three or four days ago. And just all that fresh new growth bouncing back. It's growing vertically fine. Now we just want it to spread a little laterally. Let's give it a bit of a cut to encourage that. This back lawn takes all of about two minutes to mow. We're not even gonna worry about the edges today. Like the front, once it's cut, you can see the areas where it needs to spread out. Overall though, eight to 10 days, Bit of a uh, improvement. There we go, so we did tick a few things off the list. A few more to do. Here's the priority, I need another plant for there. I need uh, one, two, three for the pots. Like I said, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Still got to take the pallet uh, to the recycling facility. I'm gonna ask him if I can come on a day where they're actually shredding them. I'd like to throw the drone up and watch it get thrown in there and mulched up. Um, I, uh, I would just personally enjoy that. I don't know about anyone else, but pretty happy with things, how they're looking at the moment, out the front anyway. Back's got a long way to go, but I like it. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh.
Mmm, 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 mmm